Hello and welcome to In The Kitchen with Pen and today we are having steak and salad for dinner. My steak is in Nadreo, it is cooking on sous vide mode so I have seasoned it, I have put it in Nadreo, I have set it and I can forget it, I need do nothing more. But we've got a lovely plate of salad and um, I just think that onions are really, really nice with a steak, but I don't want to fry my onions. So I'm going to give them a go, wish me luck, in the air fryer. And that's the noise you can hear, is for this recipe, I am actually going to pre-eat my air fryer. So I have one onion that I have thinly sliced and I've put it into a bowl. What I'm going to do now is Few so that you can see what I'm doing. Right, my onions, they're in the bowl, and I'm going to go in with a really good glug of avocado oil. If you haven't got avocado oil, use olive oil, it's absolutely fine. And then we want to flavour the onions slightly, so we're going to go in with some garlic powder and some onion granules or onion powder, whichever you have. Not salt, don't use garlic salt or onion salt. And then we're just gonna get our hand in and toss it around. And what you want is what you've got here. You want your onions to be glistening. And if they're not, then just add a drop more oil. Now, once my air fryer has had a five minute preheat at 200 C, I'm going to go in with the onions. And then they're going to have a 15 minute cook and I'm going to toss them every five minutes and see what they look like. They might need slightly longer, but we shall see. So we've got that another minute. Let's have a little sniff. Yeah, I can smell the garlic, so I think they'll be okay. You could put some herbs in here. You could even put some paprika in here. That would be quite nice, actually. But they're glistening. Can you see how they're glistening? My head certainly is, isn't it? So I know that the onions are. Right. There we go. Now I'm just popping them into the air fryer. Did you hear the sizzle? That's what we want. And uh, put them in there. And as I say, we'll check every five minutes, toss them, and see how they turn out. <clears throat> well, what can I say? 200 degrees as I'd read everywhere, was actually too hot. So they browned really quite quickly. I'd been checking them. I went away to do my injection, take my medication, give Steve his medication. I came back and they were really too burnt, to sh burnt too brown to show you. I've eaten them, they were bloody lovely. But we don't want them looking too brown do we so what i'm doing is i'm taking them out the second batch because if at first you don't succeed well you could say give up but no if at first you don't succeed try again and i tried again and i did exactly the same thing except i cooked them at 180 degrees for the 15 minutes and look I think they look really nice I've sat them on top of the steak Steve has a ribeye I have a sirloin so I'm going to finish serving up dinner I mean it's virtually ready and then we'll be back and I'll taste them for you There's my dinner, 
sirloin steak topped with the, mush the mushrooms, the onions that we cooked in the air fryer with salad. Now, we want to know how they taste. Fried onions, always good. But this, this fried onions cooked in the air fryer, the mess is all contained. Let's have a little taste. There we go. Mm. Got some, that's just a little bit more well done. So you get that crispy char. The sweetness is amazing. And just adding the garlic powder and the onion granules, just, I don't know, add something else to it, I think. So let's try a little bit of this steak, shall we, with the onions. Beautiful. So if you like fried onions, but don't like the mess, nor the smell, because it does can smell out your kitchen. Try them in the air fryer. I really don't think you'll be disappointed. But for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you again very soon in the kitchen with Pen. Bye bye.